Happy holidays to you and yours. I'm Henani. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. I am a mixture of emotions right now. It's been a really, really long day of Christmas shopping, getting ready so that when it comes to moving around during the festive season, we won't be doing so much of that. We will be home and trying to be safe with our loved ones and all that good stuff. So I'm here to show you everything that uh, we bought so that we prepare for the festive season. I'm pretty, pretty excited for what I just dropped now. So. I've been wanting to buy the whole pack of the, the festive hamper, which you see now. This one has succulent beach smoked gammon, which I love. I love gammon so much. And then it also has corned beef and black pepper smoked pork belly. I love pork belly. I haven't made corned beef before, though I've had it before. So I'm pretty excited to, you know, get these ready, the roast and everything. I can already taste them. Oh my God. Let me know if you're a fan of any of these. If you do make gammon or any of these roast beefs or corned beef when it comes to like your festive season or just all year round, it also just depends. So yeah, the festive hamper, I'm really excited about that. So the next thing that we bought here, Ooh. oh my god it's heavy <laughs> i don't even know how many kilograms is this oh my god i think it's eight kilograms yeah this is like literally eight kilograms so we went and we bought the half free range lamp pack so it has one whole one whole leg loin chops rib chops bright chops um ribber keys i hope i'm saying that right chump chops kidneys and stewing pieces so yeah this is a big boy right here so it has all of that inside. Let me actually just see if I can take some of it out. Oh, yeah. Gotta put some muscle in this baby, listen. All right, so yeah, this is what's in the pack. There's this pack over here, and then this as well. So the individual prices for each thing is not there. They just gave me the price for the hamper, which is what I'll put on the screen as well. And then we have the chops over here. There we go. Let me just keep taking it out. And then I guess this is the bones. Yeah, there's this part. If you know what part it is, let me know. But I know it's going to be delicious because it's lamb. Okay. I'm definitely going to roast it, I think. I will definitely roast it. And then we've got more chops over here. So it's like a whole pack of just lamb. If you love lamb, this will be like heaven. And then the leg, like a, the full leg that they are talking about, like part of the leg, which is pretty exciting. I love roast, so this is definitely going to be like a delicious lamb roast. Let me know if you would want me to do like a recipe video on the channel. And I will definitely do it in the comments down below. All right, so we're done with the meat pack over here. I'm just going to talk about everything that's on the table then i'll start putting the all the bags one by one managed to also buy some iwisa maize meal super maize meal five kilograms i just thought you know what let's do the big boy this will definitely last the whole of december up until like january so we don't have to worry about milling meal for a while and i love that we usually get like the 2.5 kilograms but i find that maybe like in a month it would have finished or maybe it will depending on how much we eat pub it would have gone over to the next month 
we also bought some potatoes like the bulk buy bulk and save potatoes it wasn't like a special so we just bought the potatoes themselves and this is how they are looking i love having potatoes it's just a good alternative to anything shoes and all the good stuff is just good to have some around i really really think so now we're moving on to like the bags because the meat and everything else was not in bags it was just out there because it couldn't fit into the bags oh man we bought some avocado oil girl you know at this point i am in love with the avocado oil the old one that we had is like this much left so i just thought we get some i don't know if you can even see at this point oh yeah you can see you can see you can see this is how much is left so i like to make sure that things don't finish before we get the new one so this one will definitely last up until like end of december january going there because this one we've had like the whole month and it's we still have some because i don't deep fry i usually just put a little bit of oil in what i am eating and all that stuff and i think it's good enough uh for what we eat like my husband and i next thing that we have in the bag is some full cream milk so we bought like three of them so one two let me just put them down as i'm talking and then the third one this is definitely just for like oats and maybe if i do make like smoothies definitely have some milk in there and some overnight oats and next that we got here is some original recipe chutney i love chutney in anything that is savory chutney just adds that sweetness that you're looking for and i don't know it's just so nice it's just it's just a good combination i love this i've been loving it for a really long time and we also managed to buy some fine pink salt i am not going back to the ground salt the fine pink salt is really working for me less work and i know that i don't need like a special brand or anything like that i just store it in here and it works tastes the same it's definitely the same thing whether you're getting like the ground um the the pink salt that you need to grind or this one in my opinion the next thing that we bought was some tomato sauce like sauce just goes with anything and my husband loves his tomato sauce so when we saw it, we just had to get like a whole bottle we see for like i don't know meals chips whatever it is that i'll be making definitely need some tomato sauce all right i'm done with this bag i'm gonna pick up another bag right now and then we'll just keep going just like that oh my god all right Ooh. we're moving on to bag number two over here even though the meat was not in bags so i don't even know if it counts as bags anyways we managed to buy some kale i love i love i love kale whether you're having it raw as a salad or you like you know just stir fry it a little bit just to you know get some oil on it i just love kale and for smoothies as well oh my god i just i just love kale i just love kale next thing that's in the bag we got some we bought some white kidney beans i've had white kidney beans made by someone else but i have not made them myself but i love that with the pressure cooker you don't have to worry about beans they will come out nicely and they'll be well cooked and everything else i just need to know the soaking ratio it says you must soak one part to four parts of water so it's basically like all other beans that i've you know had like black beans which I had to have i love i love me some black beans like this house loves beans all types of beans okay so we managed to also buy some black beans which i was just talking about so basically the soaking is the same and the cooking time is more or less the same this one says 41 minutes when it comes to the cooking time and the white kidney beans uh say you must 60 to 90 minutes so they actually need more time to boil compared to the black beans but i guess it also depends whether you are using like a gas or the normal or induction or pressure cooker it, it also just depends on what you're using next thing that we have in this bag oh it's a multi mix seeds so firstly i had actually gotten some chia seeds on their own but then i was like listen for almost the same price or even less this was less than the chia seeds i think the chia seeds were about like a hundred and something but then now i needed to get all these extra seeds on their own it's also just good to have some seeds like i sprinkle them um, in oats in smoothies in salads like if you don't like to eat them just like this you can just sprinkle them into something that you're eating and you won't even taste them and you get the benefits so this packet has chia seeds hemp seeds sunflower seeds golden and brown lean seeds as well so it's like a whole pack packed mixture of goodness over here i just love me my seeds and someone asked me how chia seeds taste in one of my one of my shorts or one of my videos chia seeds 
don't really have like a taste especially when you like soak them in um in yogurt or anything like that it it literally just dissolves in there you don't even taste it but it has like a nutty kind of flavor if you wanted to know like a mild nutty kind of flavor so if that's your vibe i think they will work for you next thing in the bag that we bought is some rolled oats so i managed to buy two packets of these these finish so quick just like i love to make them like a stove top oats or uh, or like overnight oats or bake with them so anything really goes when it comes to oats and i also make my own oat flour all right let me see what's next in this bag oh baby marrow baby marrows what i usually just do with these i roast them so is it that i cut them into like little uh, i just cut them like vertically and then make like little stuff that's like roasted or i will like peel them and then they kind of look like peels kind of situation so with that i just usually stir fry but if i cut them into bigger blocks i will usually just roast them so i can't wait for these and now what i love about like yeah baby marrow zucchini whatever you want to call it um it's so versatile with any meal that you want to make so i love them so much and you can add any flavors that you want it's almost like a blank canvas if that makes sense and the next thing that we bought was some crunchy peanut butter we've been loving Woolies crunchy peanut butter like it it's I, I think it's just on the same part as black cat like it's the same same taste same taste like so we just managed to also buy another one this one lasted a whole month with us eating oats almost like every day so yeah it's a good it's a good it's a good peanut butter to have because it lasts long and then the next thing that we also bought was some raw honey yeah some honey goes a long way like we just use honey for like oats and for iced tea oh my god the iced tea that we got uh the honey has been really helping it to taste nice so this one is blue gum honey it's the same flavor like the honey that uh we bought last time i'm really loving that flavor so choice grade raw honey 355 grams let me just see all right this bag is done let's move on to the next bag shall we oh all right it's not as heavy as i made it sound like it's heavy <laughs> Oh, listen, I was so, so happy and shocked that the whey powder at Woolies was like less than 40 Rand. I was really shocked, but I was really happy. Perfect for smoothies and perfect for oats as well. Like, it really helps. We've started like lifting weights. Just a little bit, a bit of press-ups here, you know, all that. So you do need that extra protein, that whey powder. So I'm really happy for this yeah and it says not for infant feeding i think that was good oh yeah it says you can add to baked goods and smoothies so yeah oats baked stuff smoothies it's your it's it's your partner it doesn't really have like it like a distinct taste that it has it, it kind of just tastes powdery if that makes sense like powder without sugar so that's how it kind of just tastes if i have to describe how it tastes next thing that we bought that's in the bag was the ultimate burger buns i don't know like when we go to woolies i think it's different like from food lovers options where you get like different size of rolls because the burgers that we got um are slightly a bit bigger but then these were the biggest rolls that they have these are the burger buns for four four rolls so it's been a while since i've had like anything bread related so i'm really excited to be having and making some burgers like from scratch i love me a good burger you know next thing that we bought was some mixed leaf salad definitely going to use it for the burger as well and for any salads that we are going to make i will definitely make a short or a video or something with the salad recipe all together so this is uh how many it's a mixed leaf salad let me just check if they say what what leaves are in there no they do not say but they do give a really nice recipe Oh my god i need to get some dijon mustard i've been wanting to get dijon mustard for a long time so i can make like my own dressing used it before very nice so want to get more and once you have it then you don't have to buy like uh the store-bought salad dressing you can literally make it by yourself because this recipe that's here you need like lemon zest lemon juice dijon mustard black pepper honey salt and olive oil of which any oil that you have i would just use the avocado oil and then you have a dressing for the salad i love that you know a lot of food comes with the recipes in case you're lost and also the internet it is packed with recipes and i love it 
and this is the first time that i'm actually buying sweet pranlemo variety of pepper it's sweet juicy and for stuffing and for greening so i'm pretty excited to be trying to make it by myself had it at restaurants but never made it like by myself um i was really worried when i was reading before but then they say they are sweet it's not like the spicy type of peppers i cannot handle that kind of pepper okay i'm just not that girl i am not i'm built different <laughs> i am built different i say the next thing that we bought these are now just we're moving on to just the herbs and the spices partly I think they were packed in different bags so remember there's a lot of on the meat section there's a lot of like roast that we got the from the festive uh, hamper and also from the lamp one there's the, like a whole leg that needs like kind of like their own spice and all that so that's when we bought the lemon and herb roasting kit so what does it have inside so this one you can use for chicken fish vegetables or anything like that so this is how it will look so i'm pretty excited to use like their mixture and then see how it tastes and how it goes if i like it i'll keep getting it as well so it's something new that we are trying for the first time and then we also bought some mixed herbs this is this has been my combo for a minute this one has marjoram oregano thyme rosemary and parsley so it's all packed in one the um, the one we have this is how much is left so i always love a refill so this is the refill for that so this is how it looks when it's kind of like out it's like all of the herbs the dried herbs in like one place i love it i love it next thing that we bought was some red onion i think i'm going to pickle them last time i pickled them they lasted longer like i just added vinegar and was it mixed spice bit of salt bit of pepper and they lasted in the fridge for about a month so then i was just using them as toppings for like salads or soups anything they just add like a nice tang they were really really nice i love having some red onion for cooking and just normal everyday things that you need for stews salads it definitely works oh the next and last thing that was in that bag was some kara sweet potatoes i can't wait to roast these and maybe even stuff them i don't know i'm excited to see what i will do with these but definitely i will post a recipe about it best believe that okay i'm moving on to another bag all right there's little bags over here so i'll just do them as they as they go and bring new bags as i go we bought some 30 drawstring ped pedal bin liners 30 drawstring pedal bin liners why is that a tongue twister i have no idea i love these are these scented they're usually right they're scented they usually smell nice so i'm assuming they're scented let's see are you smelling nice or what i don't know i really no these are not the scented ones they usually have the scented ones they smell like they have like a lavender uh, scent to them i just thought they were the same but they still work. I, I, I love I love them. I should have checked whether they were scented or not. All right. Next thing that we have in the bag is some baking paper. Need some baking paper. It really helps to keep like all your baking utensils nice and clean. And sometimes when I roast something that's not too busy or anything like that, uh, the baking paper, I kind of use it twice. Unless maybe I bake something sweet, then I do not because, yeah, that cannot be clean. But if it's like veg or anything like that, and you add a little bit of oil, it works. And then some light foil, definitely going to use this for the roasts that I will be, you know, making. Mm, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. We bought some microfiber wash and score uh, type of gar <laughs> garment listen to me uh, type of uh, cloth so it scores on the other side and then it cleans on the other side needed some new ones the ones i've been using are too old and i don't think that's good especially when it comes to the kitchen so be renewing these and then we also bought two new toothbrushes because the ones we have kind of rotate them a bit so that you don't keep the same toothbrush i think they say every three months you replace the toothbrush so we're using these for now i've been wanting to get like the electric ones but yeah when we do get them because they're like over like i think a thousand or 300 400 depending on like which one you like the most we're moving on to the second to the last bag as far as i can see right now unless i see another bag but listen this is what we're doing there's a lot of bags on the floor right now okay moving on we bought some button mushrooms i missed mushrooms 
I don't know why I, I it feels like I have not been buying mushrooms, but I love them so much and I miss them. I'm gonna put them on the burger that I'm planning to make, so it's gonna be interesting and also other meals just on the side or somewhere. I have been wanting to try savory oats. Like I think it's something that could be a vibe with some mushrooms, some egg in there, and maybe avo or something like that. I'll see what I'll do with them, but Yes, we got some button mushroom. Next thing that we bought is some tomato paste. So we've got three of these tomato paste in here. Come on. There is the third one. So we've got three tomato paste. I love tomato paste. It adds good flavor to food. Love it so much. So the three of them will last, will last a bit, depending on how much I use them. The next thing that we bought was some barbecue. It's a barbecue roasting kit. I hope you can see that because I got a lot of roast and I just wanted to try many just to see what I would like the most and what flavors I like the most. I don't know which one, what ingredients. Okay, there's a lot of ingredients in here. They're not too much, but like that's the list of ingredients. So you can use this for chicken, beef and vegetables. All you need in just this so i want to try it and i'll let you know what i think in one of the videos that i'll do maybe a what i eat in a day or like a proper full-on recipe video or a short next thing that we bought was some black quinoa the quinoa that i usually get is the one that's the white and the red so it's my first time trying the black quinoa. i just put some lamb in there with some potatoes so it's starting to boil so i was wondering what is making that sound so if you hear any sounds or beeping it's something in the pressure cooker we bought some black quinoa and yeah quinoa is just so nice i've had black quinoa in salads like at a restaurant i think it was creamy or something like that and it was so nice and i usually make the white and red quinoa but i managed to get the black quinoa i'm excited to make it 30 minutes and you're already eating next thing that we bought is some popcorn love me some popcorn butterfly popcorn the woolies brand is really awesome but any popcorn from anyway popcorn is popcorn and it works love this as a snack especially when i'm craving something nice and savory and i still have my popcorn spice somewhere here on the table so that helps checkers shout out to you for having some popcorn spice i know woolies has its own but like the one at checkers is affordable and it tastes really good and we also managed to buy some cranberry apple and shimmer glaze this is for my gammon when i make it on christmas baby or one of the roasts so definitely gonna keep this glaze last last christmas i made my own this time i'm trying out this one to see like what's good wait i like it's the previous year that i tried my own last year i tried checkers one it was so delicious so it my first time trying the woods glaze especially this flavor so i'm excited about that and oh my love my dear love of spice this is the best combination of spice i've said this so many times you must be sick of me but i'm gonna keep saying it butter chicken curry i put it in everything everything it's definitely on everything another spice that i live by is the mixed spice i put it in most of my sweet dishes whether i'm baking oats anything of that sort smoothies it's so nice it's like a mixture of cinnamon ginger allspice nutmeg and cloves so you can only imagine how it smells and tastes especially if you're like a baker and you love baking things you get what exactly what i mean and then we also bought some garlic last time i bought the garlic that they you know they opened up and tear tear for you i found that it went off quicker than the bulbs where i will open one by one by myself so just see how it will last so it's the same 120 grams but the other one is already open for you and this one is not next thing that we bought were some rosa tomatoes i'm gonna use them for the salads they just bring nice color like a nice mixture of the yellow and you know the red and everything else and they taste so delicious as well next thing that we bought oh we've been introducing pasta again into our diet and my husband picked this one the whole wheat linguine so yeah trying to just going whole wheat and then taking it slow nice and slow i think this will you we eat like two to three times just the one so yeah pretty excited for this oh i miss pasta i miss pasta and i just am happy it's in here next thing that we bought were some peppers so this is the addition to the other peppers that we that i showed you earlier on the um, sweet palermo variety this is the normal og that we usually just have and it works stews everything is just amazing all right what is the last thing in this bag 
Oh, these cute little blueberries. Listen, I love me blueberries. And I don't know what happens with woolies. Whenever you get like the kid version of things, they're always sweeter. Like the spinach, the spinach, listen to me. The nachis, the baby nachis are sweeter than the normal ones. And so are these blueberries. And they're so cute. If you have kids, these will so work. Especially you just take it out. Man, you know, I have not eaten the whole day. Like since morning. Yeah, I have not eaten. So I'm just going to get into these berries right now. Like, mmm. Yes, they are definitely sweet, like I said. I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe to get your kids hyped with the extra fruit sugar. I don't know. Maybe there's something there. It might just be me. Maybe I'm hallucinating or whatever. But there's something to that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're on the last bag. If you're still here, you're a real one. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And like the video already. And comment, you know, leave something in the comments, whether it's an emoji or a trolley, something. Let me know anything in the comments down below. And I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. The next thing that we bought was some small bananas. I love me some bananas, whether in like smoothies or in the oats. Nice and sweet. I usually just smash them and then add them in there i think i'll make some overnight oats tonight before we go to bed and then we also bought some lemons this pack is nice and cute especially for dressings and for tea as well it's just good to have lemon around you just like don't know when you're gonna need some lemon also bought some tomatoes now that it's summer it's good to actually get tomatoes that are not all the way ripe because within a day or two they will be ripe and if they're already ripe, if you're not going to use all of them, they start to go off even in the fridge. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Listen, I love, I love, I, I've been loving using the diced vegetable mix uh, from Woolies, the freshly frozen diced vegetable mix. So we bought two of them because I love them that much. They make life so much easier when it comes to, you know, wanting to add veg to anything that you are making, whether it's a salad, a stir fry, a roast, they really work well and they last for so long. I love them so much. If you're trying to like, you know, get on that veg tip, like the veg mix always does it. This I have been excited for. The Wagyu beef burgers. I saw who was has started to to like stock like Wagyu mince. I saw the Wagyu uh, sausage or burros, whatever that you want to call it. And then they have the Wagyu uh, beef burgers. Like I have never had Wagyu before, and I'm excited to try these and see like how they are. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna make them tomorrow for breakfast. That's how much I want to see if there's like any difference. But anyways, when it comes to who has already made burgers, they don't mess around. Their flavor is always amazing. Like their burros and their mints and their burgers. Even the vegan version, we tried it last year. Amazing. Listen, amazing. Last but not least, some double plain yogurt. So we bought this. And I'm gonna use it for overnight oats and for smoothies and maybe just to have like that with some blueberries and some honey on top and if you're ever hungry or looking for a midnight stack like yogurt can really save you so this is the total for everything that we got for grocery wise from Woolworths got some plates and stuff from Woolworths but they're gonna be in another video for like the homeway haul so please stay tuned for that it's probably gonna be like a video already watched or before this I'll see how I arrange everything thank you so much for watching this video like comment subscribe do all those lovely things and I'll see you in my next one bye